Hello, Facebook Live. Good morning, everybody. Oh. Marcus here, 8 o'clock in the morning about. On Friday, I'm getting ready to go on a bike ride, doing the reservoir this morning. Uh, super busy day today here at the restaurant. Super busy weekend here. Uh, in fact, every day has been really busy here at the restaurant. So thank you, everybody, for your support. We really, really appreciate it. Um, so we've actually been turning people away as well um, most nights. Uh, so we apologize if you're one of the ones who we've turned away. Uh, we really apologize. I want to uh, talk about uh, something that uh, we typically don't ask guests for uh, previously. We've done it once or twice, and it's worked, 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 it's worked out good. So we're going to do it again, and I'm willing to give a $250 gift card if it works out, if you can help us out, even just for... Um, the first step, I will give you a $25 gift card. So I'll talk about that. I'm just going to let a few more people get online here uh, this morning. So good morning, everybody. As you tune in, just drop a comment. Say hello. Say good morning. Uh, drop a comment of where you're tuning in from. So it is 8 a.m. on Friday morning. We're getting ready for a super busy weekend here at the restaurant. Just to let you know what's going on, every Thursday, Friday, and Saturday nights from 4 to 9, the village of Elmville shuts the streets down here. Uh, they got DOT approval, and um, we shut the streets down here, and all of us restaurants get to put tables out, and it's um, sort of like, not communal seating, but um, there's individual tables, and you can sit down and order from your favorite restaurant. We, uh, I was cooking out here last week. This is where I was doing the lobster bake from, which I'll be doing again this week. Uh, if you saw my video the other day, I've up upgraded the smoker, so the smoker's going to be out here again, and maybe I'll be cooking off the smoker too. Uh, we set up a little little like bar right here on our property and serve our, our frosés and our Negronis. But the whole street Fridays, four, Fridays from 4 to 9, Friday, Saturday, and Sundays from 4 to 9. This street is closed one block. Um, the restaurants past this block are encouraged to participate and uh, in the shops and and set up here in the streets so we can have uh, one big sort of block party, um, socially distanced block party, hopefully. Last week was the first week that we did this and it was a huge success for us. We sold about 70 lobster bakes, I think. And I could have sold more. We actually turned people away on the lobster bakes. So we could have sold more. Lobsters are here already. I've got them and we are ready to rock and roll. Clams are here, we're ready to rock and roll for this weekend. So Father's Day, here's what's happening on Father's Day. Jamie, do you want to explain Father's Day? I can. Because <laughs> it might rain this weekend. It might thunderstorm this weekend. And we are a little nervous about that because you can, we can only, you can only sit outside. So we're not really taking reservations for Father's Day. You're going to call on, on Sunday morning, 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock. We open at 1 o'clock and place an order and book a time slot, hopefully based upon the weather, cooperating. We do have a tent out back. So we have a tent out back, which... Four or four or five tables in there to be socially distanced properly. So uh, nobody wants to sit out in the rain. So and um, if you do, if you if you did make a reservation and and we had all these reservations for like one o'clock, two o'clock, three o'clock, and it all of a sudden decided to thunderstorm out, we would have your food, but we wouldn't have a place for you to sit. So you'd have to take your food home, eat in the car, something like that. Um, go to the pavilion up on Berm Road. Uh, hopefully there will be picnic tables. I'll call the village this morning and make sure. So. Um, that's the story with that. So you have to call. You have to call on Sunday morning. We're doing our full menu. We're doing our lobster bake, and we're doing a, a, a barbecue chicken dinner for fourteen. A barbecue chicken plate for fourteen ninety nine. Uh, that I'll be out there, hopefully smoking, uh, barbecuing, and it won't be raining. So that's it. So hope everybody has a fantastic weekend, and hopefully it doesn't rain as much as it's supposed to. Uh, all right. So I want to get on to the title of this video: the um, two hundred fifty dollar gift card if you can help us do this. And we typically don't ask for this often. Uh, the last time we did, we got, some, we got a great response though, so we're doing it again. We are rocking and rolling here. We are busy. We are we're very, very busy. And if you notice, if you've been one of those ones that have been turned away at night, we turned away tables last night again. Uh, we turned away four, five, six tables last night because we're just too busy for the staff that we have. We have a lot of to-goes. So if you're sitting in our garden and the garden's like filled with the six, seven, eight tables and your food, and you're like, oh my gosh, what's taking my food so long? It's because the kitchen is still putting out a lot of food for to-go orders. To-go orders are still rock and rolling. Our groceries are still rock and rolling. So we're feeding a lot more than the people that are just sitting there. We need, we need a couple more um, eager 
talented team members. So we're looking for, I'm looking for a line cook and we're looking for a person out front. We've had a couple additional hires just recently, uh, but we're looking for a, a line cook in the back, in the kitchen to help Michelle and myself and Tom. Uh, we are also looking for uh, a server out front. So if you know somebody, just for recommending them and them going through the interview process, we'll throw you a $25 gift card, just for, just for that. If we hire them and they work out for six months, we'll shoot you a 20, uh, $250 gift cards, $250 worth of gift cards to use here at Aroma Time. That's all, you just have to stay employed six months. We will train the right person. We do not, the most important things for us is attitude, right? Willingness to learn and um, showing up on time. Uh, this, you know, it, it's, it's a shame what the challenges us restaurant, restaurant tours, and not only the restaurant tours, but a lot of industries have with the workforce. So if you know somebody that's, that's willing to, it's, it's by no means that we're gonna say this is an easy job. Um, it is a high paced high pace job for a couple hours a night, right? Five o'clock we open, eight o'clock we close, nine o'clock we close, it's high paced for four hours. Before that, you get your work done. So we're willing to train the right person. Now, if you know somebody that wants to work in our kitchen or out on our out serving tables, info at aromatimebistro.com, info at aromatimebistro.com would be the way for them to get a hold of us. They can simply drop us a resume or shoot us an email and say, I'm interested. I, so-and-so sent me, so-and-so sent me, right? So if you say so-and-so sent me, then we know who referred them and then we know who to give the $25 gift card to. So all they need to do is follow through with the interview and we'll give them a 25, give you a $25 gift card for them just following through with the interview. If they get employed here and they stay here six months, $250. And it, literally, if we had three people that were recommended to stay here for six months, we have no problem giving out $750 in gift cards to three, to three people who recommend them. That's no problem at all. Getting the right uh, team members, the right staff, is, is, is very crucial for, for our business. Having the wrong ones, as anybody knows, having the wrong people represent you or not enough people representing you is an issue. So we are looking for front of the house, one person in front of the house, one person back in the house in the kitchen, a line cook. We will, most, most of the most successful people that have ever worked for us are people that we've trained. Jamie and I do a lot of team development, team training um, workshops. We do weekly workshops and this is where we teach our staff and we learn and they teach us and we go back and forth and, and improve the restaurant. This is where, uh, this is where all of that happens. So we do about an hour a week of, uh, was in person, right now it's virtual, and just to get our staff on the same page, our team members on the same page. So the most successful people here have been people that have, that have moved up and learned up, that have learned up into their job. Sometimes people have come in here with years and years of experience, they're stuck in their own ways. Sometimes they've had year, years of experience, which is a good experience, but people that are eager, willing to learn, not afraid to work, uh, Jamie and I are very easy to work for, we do hold you to high standards, uh, like any high quality restaurant or a high, or a high quality product or service that's being offered. We do hold you to higher standards. So for example, sometimes I, some of you have been here and I'll come to the table and say, I'm sorry, the kitchen, um, I had to pull your food tonight out of the window because it wasn't my quality. And a lot, a lot, of, a lot of cooks aren't used to the owner, the chef, their boss saying, guys, recook that table. This, this, this doesn't represent the quality that we do. And that happens from time to time, and some cooks can't handle that because they think that I'm being mean or something. I'm saying it very nicely. Hey, guys, this isn't our quality. Let's redo this table. Let's 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 send out an appetizer, comp an appetizer to them. Let them wait a little longer for something that they that they that they would be happy to wait for. Not something that we just threw together. And so um, we're very easy to work for. Uh, we like people that are teachable. We we have no problem teaching. We understand that. Uh, I used to be a culinary arts instructor at Sullivan County Community College. Years ago, when we first opened the restaurant, I was there for a couple of years, three, four years. So I'm used to teaching people. Uh, I've been a chef for, for many, many years. I've had apprentices under me. We've had a lot of uh, um, interns in all the organizations I've worked. So I'm used to teaching people. I have no problem teaching the right person. But if they're not teachable, it won't work. All right, so that's the deal. Wait staff too out here, or bartenders. The most successful bartenders we've ever had here have been people that have learned to bartend here from us, from Jamie. All right, so that's the deal with that. So let me recap this. We're looking for new team, more team, more team members. 
We're growing. The business is getting. We're, I mean, we're just we're turning away people every night, and and it kills us to turn to they say say no to people. But our our current staff, um, especially in the kitchen, it can get exhausting. All the work. Uh, we're, we're, I mean, we're busy. We're busy. Michelle in the kitchen takes one day off a week, and she's been like that, gee, for for months now. Jamie and I work every single day. We barely take a day off. For us, when we take a day off, it's a half a day. We go for a bike ride. We work all morning, so we get our work done. And we come back and hopefully don't have to deal with any work. But so even on a day off, we're still working. We're still handing emails. We still answer the phones. So if you call here on a, when we're off, when the, when the restaurant isn't open and we're not in the building, the phone rings to Jamie's cell phone. We forward it to her cell phone. So we're still, even though we're out, we're still working. We're still answering. We're still taking reservations. We're still taking orders. We're still dealing. So Jamie and I very, very rarely get a true, true day off. And with COVID happening, um, our workload increased drastically. So... If you recommend somebody for our team and they follow through with an interview, you get 25 bucks. If you recommend somebody, we hire them and they work here six months, $250 in gift cards we'll give you uh, for Aroma Time. That's simple, so that's how that works. Uh, info at aromatimebistro.com. We appreciate everybody's support. Thank you for being patient with us, by the way, because again, like we are, we are very busy. We've been very busy. And even on the night, like last night, we were turning, we turned away, what, I think six tables, Jamie, on the phone, so. And people walked in afterwards, after 8.30, we could have done another three, four tables yeah. at that point, but the kitchen staff is just, it's a lot. It's a lot with what we're doing, so. Um, Did you talk about Father's Day? If it Father's Day. People can take food with them? Yes, okay. people can take food with them on Father's Day. You can take the lobster bake with you, you can take all of our food. That's the story with that. All right, folks, I have to, I'm gonna go on a bike ride here. Um, myself and a friend are doing the round out reservoir today. We're leaving from the restaurant at nine. We're gonna do that loop about 35 miles. And then I'll be back here uh, rocking and rolling. We'll talk to everybody later. Stay tuned for Jamie's uh, happy hour live at 4 o'clock today. And everybody have a fantastic weekend.